Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to stick to Scotland and we're going to go over to West Lothian this time, a town called Livingston for those of you who are watching from outside of the country. But we're going to go to a brewery called Alchemy Brewery and this is their Rye Rye beer which is a member of the core range and it describes itself as being a red rye pale ale. And these guys, Alchemy actually seem to have very very good ratings when you look them up on Rate Beer and Beer Advocate but for some reason since have been out of the country. They only started releasing their beers quite widely just before I left to go to Australia and now that I'm back they're all over the place now so I've finally got around to reviewing them for you. But I'm interested in this one because any time I've tried a beer with red rye in it, it always has this really beautiful bready characteristic in the beer. So quite interested to do my first review from Alchemy for you today. But anyway, as is usual with my beer reviews then, I'll take you through a very brief history of the brewery. It will only be two or three minutes long but if you want to get straight to the tasting just fast forward. The brewery websites in the video description for you below along with a link to my other reviews that hopefully I can add from Alchemy in the very near future. So as I told you Alchemy are based in Livingston near Edinburgh in West Lothian. It's just on the sort of western side of the city if I remember rightly. But the brewery was founded by James Davies after he took voluntary redundancy from his job in the pharmaceutical industry. But James had actually started home brewing while he was studying at university in Edinburgh for his master's degree in chemistry. But he also studied for a PhD in micro Microbiology, and during this time he was actually looking at the genetics of brewery yeast. He actually, it actually sounds as if he's taken a kind of fairly similar path to what I'll be doing. But um, he returned to his hometown of West Calder near Livingston in Scotland from Nottingham in 2011. And when he returned to Scotland, this was when he founded the Alchemy Brewery. But this, after that, this was just as he'd resigned from his job at Babcock Rail, which was his job in the pharmaceutical industry. So the official launch of the Alchemy Brewery was in April 2012 at the Cloister bar in Edinburgh and ever since then the brewery's actually been growing fairly strongly so when I left to go to Australia about eight or nine months ago, this was when their beers had just changed to this kind of to this label, and they were starting to become quite widely available. And now that I've returned, I can finally do a review for you, and I know where to get the other ones now as well. So you will see more Alchemy reviews in the fairly near future. But the brewery itself operates two different brewing plants. Both of these were constructed by Brew Fab in Fraserburgh, in the very northeast of Scotland. But one of these is a 1650 litre system, and they also have their small pilot. pilot brewery which is their 100 liter system and this is what they use for experimenting and producing new recipes and stuff like that but they do actually have quite a big range of different beers just to list a few of these for you in the core range they've got the ritual pale ale the five sisters red ipa black ipa ipa uh, Citra Burst IPA, Bad Day at the Office Paleo, Rye o Rye Paleo, which is this guy here, and the Stereotype Steam Lager. And they also have a Freestyle Friday series as well. So this is Great Cosmati IPA, Old Rude Belgian Red Ale, uh, Almighty Mofo, Onyx Black, which I think is a Black IPA, Galaxy Burst IPA, and also the Academic Stout as well. So it's almost like a kind of amped up series or more foreign series. So they seem to focus mainly on sort of different paleos in their core range, and then you've got some of the other more random beers in the Freestyle Friday series. So quite an interesting brewery anyway, and they are quite prolific with their beers. So just keep a, an eye on their website and you will see some of them. They do have various special editions that come out too according to their site. So just keep an eye on them. But anyway, as is usual, we'll get on to the tasting now. So to tell you about this beer itself, it's a 5.6% rye pale ale. I'll just bring up the camera and let you have a little look at the artwork on this beer. It looks really nice actually. I do like the new labels that they've added to them. You can see there's the alchemy symbol but this is the kind of... It almost, the old ones I think had a sort of churchy window type thing on them with a, a malt grain going up or a wheat grain going up through the top of the A which was quite cool but the new symbol works really nicely and you can see they tell you on the back just exactly how they do it. So malt, water, add hops, add yeast and ferment and this guy 1.9 units but it's a 5.6% I believe 5. yeah 5.6% red dry paleo so without further ado let's get this beer open and we'll get on with the tasting really interested to try this one just a plain bottle cap on it by the way plain red one but yeah as you can see a nice smoky opening but you can smell the sweet red rye on this beer as you just open it up and it is pouring a really nice kind of coppery amber colour 
But it's quite cool actually because it seems to be that West Lothian and that sort of region to the south of Edinburgh seem to be producing a hell of a lot of nice beers recently. Of course you've got Tempest down there as well who produce some really really good beers and from what I hear Alchemy are just as good and this is my very first taste of them so let's just bring up the light and let you have a look at this one. So as you can see it's actually poured a nice coppery colour and it is crystal clear. You can see my fingers through the glass there if I put them behind it but it's got a nice kind of quarter to a third of a finger of a frothy, I would say white to creamy coloured head, maybe slightly off-white but it looks very nice and that's just kind of thinning away to be a very thin foamy layer but there's a lot of carbonation sticking towards the side of the glass on this one, some big kind of medium sized bubbles and a lot of smaller ones just going up towards the bottom of the head there so it looks a very very nice beer and without even paying too much attention to it you can smell the big kind of caramel and bready notes coming off this beer and there is just a little bit of citrus too so let's actually have a good look at the aroma here so as you would expect, it actually does smell very, very bready. It's almost like a kind of brown bread smell you're getting off this. But it's got a good bit more kind of biscuity and caramel sweetness coming out of it. So a nice big malty caramel note there with a little bit of biscuit sweetness. But there's a big brown bready component in there. And a lot of cereal as you would expect. And you can really pick up the particular red rye sweetness in this. I'll just put this light back down for you and let the camera readjust. But yeah, it smells very, very nice. The red rye in there smells very sweet and very inviting, actually. But you've got a kind of good big grassy hop component coming out of this too. Not too prominent right enough. It is more of a malt forward beer. But if you sugar it up a bit, and if, even if you just take it in a little bit further back, you can detect the grassy and maybe slightly aromatic florally hop presence too. But there is a little bit of citrus in there, but it is really more of a malt forward beer. There is, a, there is a kind of fruity, oily nose to it as well, but it smells very, very nice. So without further ado, let's get stuck into this guy. This is the Alchemy Rye Rye Red Rye Pale Ale from Livingston in Scotland. Slanja. That's really nice, actually. A lot of people... I'm... I've commented on quite a few of my videos about the sort of English style of beers where it's all these kind of bitter beers that just taste sort of a bit too grainy and a bit too bittery but for a kind of beer that specialises in its sort of malty and slightly cereal forwardness this is actually very very nice if they're not done properly these kind of beers can just taste a little bit like fusty water but this guy has a lot of flavour in it and it's very nicely done it's almost as if they've kind of gone all out and just put a load of rye in this instead of just putting a little bit and giving it that kind of weird fusty-ish flavour but this guy has a hell of a lot of flavour and the fact that they've, they've probably put a hell of a lot of rye in this and it just has the, the amount of flavour you're getting out of this beer is really nice and it actually just it really just envelopes the tongue and that's what you want from a craft beer is something that is full in flavour and for a beer that's a kind of cereal special beer it's it's just beautifully done. It's actually amazing. <laughs> but it mixes. The flavours in this mix together very well. So obviously with it being a red rye paleo, you do have that kind of big brown bready flavoured malt base there. That just blankets the middle of the palate. And you can really pick up, it's got quite a sort of cereal spice in it, but you can pick up the red rye sweetness in there. And there is perhaps a little bit of a very slight kind of woody or nutty note coming out too but there's a there's an underlying caramel and biscuity sweetness to that it mixes in quite well with the cereal spice and perhaps that's kind of why this beer is so full in flavor because the caramel and the red and biscuit and the red rye mix together so well but yeah you know if you're going to go into a bar and order one of these kind of bitter style beers I don't get why they just can't all be like this one. This one does the style really, really well. For me, it's very hard to find a sort of um, kind of bitter style beer that I like. This is a rye pale ale, obviously, so it is a bit different. But the only bitter beers I can think of that I've come across that I've actually quite enjoyed was the Wildcat from Cairngorms and also the Black Douglas, which was a dark bitter 
from Broughton Nails, who are incidentally from a similar region. But this is actually very, very well done. I'm not such a big fan of the kind of um, forward, uh, the sort of more grain forward beers, but the way that they've blended the flavours together in this one really is excellent. And I would happily drink this again. It's beautifully done. And it's just the way that the caramel, the red rye, and the sort of bready flavours mix together. It's, it's beautifully done. But yeah, big malt forward beer this one. Around the edges of the palate, you're getting sort of the grassy and florally hop. There's maybe even a little bit of earthy character as you go towards the very kind of back edges of the tongue there. But as you move forward, it becomes a little bit more grassy and aromatic. And there are definitely, a, there is definitely a little bit of citrusy flavour in there, but it's a sort of grassy and slightly floral, aromatic -y citrus. And that's your hop characteristics around the edge of the tongue. And you do get just a little bit more of a kind of citrusy flavour that comes out just in this little oily bubble you'll notice behind the very front of the tongue but the flavours in this beer blend together very well and the earthy character in the hops at the back of the tongue just blends together very nicely with the um, the sort of cereal bread character that's in the middle of the palate but it's it's very nicely done. A big bready malt base, some uh, biscuity and caramel sweetness in there. With a big, there's a big cereal spice component in there. And as I say, if you like the sort of bitter styles of beer, this is actually more like an amped up version. And as I told you, it's not a style that I um, that I that it's, it's not one of my favourite styles. But this beer is really, really beautifully done. So I'd be very interested to try some of their other beers if this is if this kind of um, full flavoured approach is the approach that they're going to take with their beers. And it is this guy had a rating of I think of about ninety or so on rate beer. So it is a very, very good beer, and there seems to be good agreement with that. But in terms of the mouthfeel, this one I would say that it's mid bodied. It does have a little prickle from the carbonation, but it's quite smooth um, overall. The, the kind of prickly part of the carbonation helps bring out the sort of cereal spice character to this beer, and a little bit of the earthy hop as well, perhaps. But it smooths out quite easily. It's a little bit of an oily mouthfeel too, which helps bring out some of the more sweet characteristics, a little bit of the caramel and, uh, and biscuity flavours in there. It's more of a kind of biscuity, grainy sweetness that you're getting out of this beer, incidentally. But there is a good bit of dry character from the hops, and you feel that build into the aftertaste. It's a nice grassy hop dryness in there. It's not sharp uh, in the same way that an aromatic dryness would be. It is more of a kind of grassy, slightly citrusy dryness in there. So overall, um, this beer is very nice. Like I say, if you like your more kind of um, cereally and bittery kind of beers, this guy is like an amped up version of that. As I've told you, not my most favourite style of beer, but in terms of a rye pale ale, it's, it's beautiful. I mean, I would happily drink this beer again, and for me to say that about one of these more cereal flavoured beers, I would point out it is actually quite rare, but this is a really, really good beer from the, uh, from the Alchemy Brewery. I keep wanting to say Alchemy, but it's a really, really nice beer, and I would really recommend that you check them out. I probably will review a few more of these beers in the very near future. I want to try their stout and their pale ale and stuff like that, so I will buy a few more of these in the near future and return to review them for you. If you have happened, to, if you do happen to have tried this beer before, please let me know in the comment sections your own thoughts on it. Always interesting to read them. In the meantime, though, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. Go and check out Alchemy Brewery from Livingston in Scotland. Some really awesome beers, all of which are very highly rated. But I'll catch you soon with my next review, and you can rest assured there will be more Alchemy reviews on here for you soon. An excellent beer and slanger for now. Cheers.